What's up everybody, this is your boy AC and welcome to another edition of LA Sports Live. Now, you guys see the title, this is a pretty serious video so let's, let's skip all the pleasantries and get down to business. Now, as you guys can see in the title, obviously, now the Lake, we know the Lakers are not trapped in China. They just arrived in China maybe about 12, 13 hours ago. And uh, of course you guys know we have a brewing situation over there in China concerning the uh, the tweet that Daryl Morey has sent out uh, supporting uh, Chinese activists, you know, supporting their right to protest and freedom of speech in China. Now, of course, there's been a tremendous backlash to that in China. And uh, I think a lot of people out here in the U.S. don't quite understand what the big deal is, but and I hear a lot of people talking out of side of the next talking about well, you know Adam Silver, he's a commissioner. He just he should just pack the teams up and leave. And the NBA, if you know, we know they're the leader amongst the uh, professional sports leagues in the U.S. for you know for for rights for players and you know things of that nature. But uh, you know when you're talking about something happening overseas, you know that's that's a whole different ball game, and it's. it's it's really not that quite simple for them to just pack their bags and leave all their business that they're doing in China. Let me let me give you a quick number, real quick, and to let you kind of understand the magnitude of this situation going on and how powerful a market that China is for the NBA. Now, currently in the in in, uh, in China, we have 490 million people. Let me repeat that: 490 million people who watch the NBA in China. So that's at least 490 million NBA fans in China. You, ha that's more. <laughs> that's more than the total population of the United States. U.S. population is 327 million. In China, they have 490. That's almost 500 million people who watch the NBA in China. So no. That's not something they're just going to pick up their bags and walk away from them there for any matter. It don't, it, don't, it don't matter what the situation is. That's that's a huge bag that they're not just going to pick up, you know, and walk away from. Uh, now, there have been other people coming out, you know, speaking their minds on this. Uh, Popovich and Doc Rivers and, and Harden, uh, the Harden and the, the Rockets, they're actually in Japan playing the Raptors so you guys know that like I said the NBA kind of leads the professional sports leagues and you know they want to make they want to uh, make their league a global a global you know a global league and they have done a great job with it like I said the Rockets and, and the Raptors are actually in J Japan right now and that's where Adam Silver was over in Japan and he had to hightail it over to China to get with Yao Ming you know, to try to dis, you know, diffuse this uh, this situation. Uh, you know, it remains to be seen what's what's going on. There's very little information coming out from people directly in China. Uh, I believe Dave McMenamin's over there traveling with the team. <clears throat> Excuse me, and uh, Rachel Nichols is over there as well. Now they've already canceled several events that the teams were supposed to participate in. The with the NBA cares program and some of the schools in China and right now it's it's doubtful if the games will be played and or televised stay tuned on this developing story I'm out of here